Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Great, great. Nice. nice. Irene, Jesus, how are you today? Can you hear me? Maybe not. How was your day, Oscar? Oh, great. Uh, I'm still in, uh, having days off. Okay, good, good. When do you tomorrow. go back to work? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to go back to work and for, uh, for 16 hours, then uh, eight hours break to, to sleep, and then another 16. How much time is the break? 
Um, no, in this case, it's at night. I mean, eight hours. Oh, okay. So eight hours during the night. During the night, but oh, this is not the regular schedule. This is just due to the, the pandemic. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, regularly, we will we'll attend. Uh, we would attend eight hours per day. Okay, daytime. Daytime, eight hours. But but uh, uh, how to say it, those hours could be uh, changed. Can be in, in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night. So it's a uh, rotative schedule. Rotative schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Okay. And mm -hmm. your co-workers, they have the same schedule as you? Yes, the same. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not the same. Every every two weeks, you have a different schedule. Um, okay. Due to the due to the pandemic, uh, we're attending twenty four hours or forty eight hours in the row. Okay. Of course, we have breaks. Uh -huh. All right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So welcome back, everybody. It's December 15th, December 15th, yes, 2020. We have tomorrow's class and we are free for 2020. So something to remember with this year. All right. So. <laughs> Do you guys remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? We're talking about vocabulary and grammar. Yes, vocabulary and grammar. Yeah, there was a discussion, sorry, about vocabulary. And today I will give you a maybe five minutes so you guys can finalize that particular conversation that we couldn't finish. So um, what else did we do yesterday besides the vocabulary? Who remembers? Did we talk about something else or did we talk about vocabulary the whole hour? We talking about acronyms too? Yeah, we spoke about acronyms. Yes. What is the meaning of an acronym? Are the capital letters of the word for the, for the main course? Okay, are, it's a word that every letter represents something. That's an acronym. FBI, NYPD, uh, uh, guys, and uh, those are examples of acronyms. They are words that we use, but every letter represents something. Yep. And now with the email uh, communication, you know, acronyms are used um, all the time. They are used all the time. So. And there are some that are very common, like FYI, RSVP, ASAP, uh, OMW, different ones. Yep. Any questions or comments before we start? No. All right. So let me give you five minutes so you guys can finalize. Uh, speaking yesterday's conversation about vocabulary. Um, I'm going to send the... Oh, you, you guys have the questions from yesterday, right? In the, uh, WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp chat? I guess. Yeah, okay. So get the questions from there and do from uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The last five. Okay. Yep.
yeah, I think that those kind of words are the first you learn. In my case, I I don't know the bold, bad words in English. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I, I, watch know, them. I, I don't know the meaning. I, I hear them in the in the movies. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Oscar? <laughs> what a liar! <laughs> uh -huh. At movies, no, no, I I listen to them at the movies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. How come? <laughs> I know okay. you very well, Oscar. I know you. <laughs> okay. I know the way you are. I think so. I know. No. And what about you? <laughs> I think I I I have a, a regular knowledge of, of vocabulary in Spanish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm, well, I, I I think I have a, a good, how do you say? Uh, orthography and Spelling. Spelling. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a spell. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, thank good, you. Francisco. You two are just arriving. Yes. Okay, we are discussing questions um, six to 10 from yesterday's uh, discussion about vocabulary. Remember I sent you a set of questions to the WhatsApp chat. Uh, no. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so we're discussing questions from six to 10. Let me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, the topic uh, was vocabulary. Uh, do you do, do not show this to a student A? What uh, is more important, grammar or vocabulary? Yeah, you will do from six to ten. Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right. Say the, the quarter, I mean. But the Mexican no, say what? Quarter. No, no, the, the la cora. No, but it's, it's, that is not an English. It's an Anglicismo is a. Aha, a cora is un. La peseta ah. una cora. Uh -huh. This is a quarter, but it's a, it's, a defor it's a deformation of the language. But, yeah, because... Uh, the generation, uh-huh. Yeah, we <laughs> say like, la cora. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the, um, let me see, I can re I can recall it in a, a penny, word that... The penny, like, Meg. The penny. It's, uh -huh. The penny is a one cent. Oh. Uh -huh, penny is one cent. Or a dime, maybe. A dime? And then a quarter, but, but Mexican say... Dime is five dime. cents, I, I'm not sure. Dime and is, ten cents? No, dime is, is ten. Is ten and five? Is ten. It's nickel. A nickel. Nickel, okay. Nickel, okay. Okay. The next but, one is, what's the best what website for learning vocabulary? Um... I can practice during the old days. 
Mm -hmm. I have someone for speaking in English. Mm -hmm. For for the risk for that reason, the new vocabulary is easy to forget. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I said uh, the the meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some similar, but are different. Depend when you use how to use. Oh, yes, in the context. Mm -hmm. In the context, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a really hard thing. Yes. You have, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, are there words in English you still keep forgetting? Mm. That's, yes. That was Veronica's talking. Uh, uh, yes, some, sometimes we keep forgetting some words. Yes. Mm -hmm. In my case, too. Do you yes. separate? Uh, this is a tip. Do you separate your vocabulary list into words, idioms? I don't have time to make the, the, the written, but I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But if you uh, don't, don't uh, the, the writing in the speaking, you Oh, really? Uh -huh, because I only have a 65% in with speaking, I, I can get the, the meaning. No, but the if, meaning if, right. if you see the, the scores, is that the speaking and the reading and the writing are not. Uh, they don't have any punctuation, uh, punctuation. They don't have a, a, a grade, a score. Uh -huh. They don't, I mean, they don't affect the, the final notes, the final grade. They don't affect the final grade. You can get uh, 100 if, if you fill, the, fill up the, the other and you answer the other parts of the, of the platform. Uh -huh. Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Because in the plan in the platform say uh, that you record your your audio and you send to the teacher but the okay. teacher needs uh, the record in the platform but yes. no, it's you're not set up teacher you're here yeah uh, so you know i asked uh, i asked uh, the administration about that particular situation and they said that uh uh, you guys should send me uh, your audios, your answers, so I can assign a grade. But oh. Oscar, uh, have have you tried uh, uh, sending the 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 audio in the platform, and it doesn't affect you if you don't do it? Mm, the audios on the at the platform. Yeah, like like the sections where you're supposed to send me an answer, and I have uh -huh. to assign you a grade. It doesn't affect your grade at the end. No, the 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 listening and I mean the, the speaking the writing, section. the speaking section and the listening doesn't affect the the final grade. Okay. Doesn't it is not evaluated. So that's what I saw this morning. That I saw this morning. Okay, so you tried uh, 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 the final exam. Uh -huh. Okay, and it doesn't affect you. No, it doesn't. Affect. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know because, uh, you know, like all the time that I have been teaching for Inglés Corporativo, this is the first time that the platform is asking students to send a recording. And that's why I'm not so sure about what the results will be. No, the, the platform actually doesn't have a, a field to, to write down a, this, a summary or a place to record uh, your answer. Your, right, your right. I, I know that, I yes. Speak. I know uh -huh. that th there is so, no, uh -huh. there is nothing to upload, but you know, I wanted to make uh -huh. sure that uh, you guys were supposed to do it or not. Teacher? Yes? I have a, can you see my screen about the platform? Uh, no. Not yet. No. Not yet? 
No, I can see the questions that some of you guys are sharing. Because uh, when I... Is a test. Okay. And, and if, if you... If you... No, no make that, that, that speaking. The platform... No, no, no califica. Doesn't great. No. Yeah, but it says no hay puntuación de problemas en esta uh -huh. sección. I don't know if, if, if it means uh, that no, it's, it not it's not graded. It's not graded. It's not graded. It's not graded because if you see the final exam or the midterm, has any, it has a percentage. It, it doesn't, doesn't have a percentage. The speaking and the writing doesn't have a percentage. Okay. Well... So try doing it like Oscar is saying it right now. And uh, if, if, if you think that you are getting affected by, by, by omitting this uh, section, you contact me and I can double check with administration. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So. In our country, it's very common to to do that <laughs> because uh, maybe they have uh, well uh, uh, per, per, no how do you say familia familia they have familia? a lot of people living in United and better is um, the better for because you can explain every day with others and you practice your listening and your speaking. Speaking. And for that reason, we're starting there. <laughs> hey, and, and I said, I, I provide my, my, the sample. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's I sample, a, but you, you have a good fluency. Twelve studies have English for my department. Okay. Okay. Norma. Yes. I I have a question. I can I can I don't have the right answer for the number nine in the middle term. And what's the best website for learning vocabulary? For me is Google. ¿Cuál es el mejor sitio web para aprender vocabulario? For me, for example, All right, welcome back. Um, any questions about vocabulary? Any comments? Um, do you know, teacher, uh, um, uh, for example, according to the, I think it's the, the last question. Oh, the night question. Night, yes. Mm -hmm. About uh, uh, the best website to learn a new, new vocabulary. Uh -huh. Do you know uh, a website? Um, I, you know, if it, it depends what your objective is, if you want to expand vocabulary or if you want to check the meaning of vocabulary, mm -hmm. I personally uh, recommend uh, the dictionary from Oxford. The name is Oxford 3000. So there, in that dictionary, you have the 3,000 words that anybody should need to communicate effectively in English. So if you, and, and, the, and the dictionary goes in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, blah, blah. And uh, I suggest, I invite everybody here to do it. And you will be surprised how many words you can recognize. You said, hey, you know, like you start with letter A. You said, okay, I know this word, blah, blah, blah. And then when you finish letter A, maybe you don't know five or 10 words maximum. 
and then you go doing the same with the with all the vocabulary and you will see that uh most of the vocabulary in the dictionary you guys already know it so it's it, it's good oxford 3000 let me write it in the chat Oxford 3000. That's the name of the dictionary. Okay, teacher, thank yep. you. All thank right. You. Now, if now other people, they prefer other dictionaries like answers.com, Macmillan. I mean, they, there are different ones. So everybody works um, where they feel better. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's do one more listening. I have five questions for you. You're supposed to write them. Pen and paper or Word document, you decide. Do you have pen and paper near you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, first yes. question. What does she hope? What does she hope? What does she hope? Yeah, what does she hope? Mm -hmm. Question two. What do different studies show? What do different studies show? Question three, how do students feel once they are in the class? How do students feel once they are in the class? Question number four, what money does he mention? What money does he mention? And the last question, what will happen to the equipment? What will happen to the equipment? Okay, what is the first question, class? What does he hope? Okay, what, what does, she, does hope? she hope? She hope. Uh -huh. What does she hope? What is the second question? What, what do different studies show? Okay, what do different studies show? What is question number three? How do, How the, do the students feel once they are in the class? Good. How do students feel once they are in the class? What is question number four? What money does he mention? What money does he mention? Okay, what money? Does he mention? And what is the last question? What will happen? What will happen to the equipment? What will happen to the equipment? Are the questions clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, they are. They are. Okay. All right. Before we do the listening, what is your opinion about physical education in schools? Mm. Actually, I don't agree with the physical education. Why not, Jose? Ah, because uh, it maybe could be a, a new spread of COVID, I think. Okay. 
<laughs> now imagine that we didn't have COVID-19. What would be your opinion about physical education in school? Ah, uh, that sounds good. I agree with that. Cool. Okay. Because okay, that's, that's cool. help to develop different skills for the children. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, physical education is necessary. Definitely. Yep. Okay, so let me let me play the audio for you. I will put everybody on mute so we don't have any interruptions. Uh, share screen, share. Mm -hmm. And where's this audio? Right here. Here we go. Four, listen to a conversation between two students. I hope they drop the physical education course requirements soon so that I don't have to take any of those classes. Do you? Personally, I think the decision's a mistake. Really? Why? I mean... I well, I guess the president's right about some students not wanting to take them, but lots of different studies have shown that being physically fit helps people to concentrate better. But really, students should take on responsibility for their own health, don't you think? I mean, they don't need an authority to force them. They should, but they don't. Students frequently get wrapped up in their studies to the detriment of their physical health. Many I've talked to say that they resent having to sign up for the courses, but when they are in the class, they find it stimulating and a good mental break from sitting in the library. Well, they're probably sports-minded. A lot of students, like me for instance, I've never been very good at sports. I absolutely dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut. And that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports equipment and facilities. The equipment will go to waste or break and not get replaced. Okay, one more time, one more time. Four, listen to a conversation between two students. I hope they drop the physical education course requirements soon so that I don't have to take any of those classes. Do you? Personally, I think the decision's a mistake. Really? Why? I mean... I well, I guess the president's right about some students not wanting to take them, but... Lots of different studies have shown that being physically fit helps people to concentrate better. But really, students should take on responsibility for their own health, don't you think? I mean, they don't need an authority to force them. They should, but they don't. Students frequently get wrapped up in their studies to the detriment of their physical health. Many I've talked to say that they resent having to sign up for the courses, but when they are in the class, they find it stimulating and a good mental break from sitting in the library. Well, they're probably sports-minded. A lot of students, like me for instance, I've never been very good at sports. I absolutely dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut. And that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports equipment and facilities. 
the equipment will go to waste or break and not get replaced. All right. What does she hope? Who has the first answer? Jessica. What does she hope? That the physical, physical education. Drop the that, physical education. That they drop the physical, the physical education requirement. requirement. Exactly. So in other words, according to the conversation, PE is mandatory. Mm -hmm. But she's hoping that they drop that. And her, her main argument is that it's not the, res, uh, the university's responsibility uh, to keep students fit. So that's what she hopes. Uh, what about the different studies? What do they show? Uh huh. Being physically fit uh, makes you feel concentrated or, or get more concentrated. Yeah. Yeah. Different studies Talking show that they help people concentrate better. And that is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. When you're physically active, your different systems in, in the body, they react better. Uh, how do students feel once they are in the class? What was was this listening difficult for you guys? Probably. <laughs> huh? They feel stimulated, but I don't know if this. Is yeah, they the find it stimulating. Yes, and he mentioned something else. That they regret to sign up. For, for the class, but once they are there, they, they I don't know, they feel right out, something like that. Yeah, they find it stimulating, and, and, uh -huh. and she mentions, the, uh, he mentions the word library. What does he say about the library? Uh -huh. That after it's, being in the library, it's a good break. Yeah, learn. it's a mental break from sitting in the library. Yep. What, what do people do in a library? What do they do? Class? Study, read. Uh-huh, study and read. So you spend three, four, five hours reading. It is good to have a, a physical education and, and stay away from, from reading that much. Uh, what money does he mention? The people that are quiet, that are not saying anything, uh, was this difficult for you? It's a question. <laughs> I understand that, that she said uh, that, that the university or college invests a lot of money in the, um, the places to make a different physical activities right right in in that act in actually in in that modally to study they don't use it and for she is a loss okay so yeah what money do they mention the money they invested in equipment and in facilities what's the meaning of facilities it's a places. Yeah, uh, places. Similar yes. to, to basketball, is soccer ball, or volleyball yeah. areas. Yeah, play. yeah. The infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure, exactly. Yes. And what will happen to the equipment if it's not used? It's waste. It will break it and, and not get in places. And it will not be replaced. And it will not be replaced. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Any questions or comments about this audio? No. Okay. In, in, in any in many words, I don't know understand better the means but i try to understand that concept exactly exactly and that's you know like when you 
when you guys take the TOEFL exam, that will happen. Um, this, this conversation is taken from the TOEFL preparation course. So um, there will be audios or, or, or reading that you will not be able to identify uh, vocabulary, but you need to pay attention to all the story. And remember, you go from uh, top down, bottom up. So, uh, and that's why, you know, they ask you different types of questions, like uh, very general questions or concrete questions. Okay. So let's go to our last activity. We have 20 minutes. Um, when was the last time you guys did volunteer work? Does social community count? Counts? What is it, Julia? If I, I was asking, or yeah, I was asking if social community counts. Sure. I mean, anything that you do as volunteer counts. Okay, that university times like 12, 13 years ago. Yeah, the, the community service. Exactly. I, yeah. I went to, but, uh, I joined the, 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 how to say the, to give the, the cess, the, or the best, the, the, the bag with the, the groceries that the government was. From, oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Was, uh, yeah, Oscar. Uh, it was a uh, volunteering, but uh, we were asked for, for the, I mean, the, the company asked ask us if we wanted to go. And many of us went uh, on free day. Okay, good, yeah. good. Okay, someone else wanted yeah. to say something? Yes, teacher. Nowadays, in the companies, had a program for responsibility, social responsibility. Uh -huh. And that uh, had a different program. For example, in my company, had one program uh, to cleaning the trash on Cuatepeque Lake two oh. times per year. And another one is the volunteers to help us in the schools in the uh, um, improve the building uh, and provide a good condition for the students. Okay. In, in one Sunday for, per month, they go to the school and, and uh, have a 20 or 30 uh, volunteers and went to the school and make a different act activities and they okay. the materials. Okay. Another one is for Christmas. They had a collected toys and, and you give a, a deposit in the cafeterias and different uh, co-workers uh, put in their uh, new toys and for Christmas week, they go to the, I don't know what to say, orphanatos. Orphan homes. Orphan homes in a pediatric area in San, in San, San Juan de Dios Hospital. Oh, okay. And gives the, the toy for the kids. Good, good, good. Anybody else wants to share volunteer work? Okay, so that's going to be uh, today's conversation. Um, remember, if you want to say horas sociales in English, you say community service. Community, community service, because uh, uh, that's exactly what you do. Uh, you serve the community uh, and you don't expect any money back. You don't expect any payments. You're just doing it because... Um, the, the school or the university is asking you to. Okay, so let me take a picture. Eight to nine. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Let me. How will you say repartir vives? Um, give uh, grains, give basic grains. grains, yeah, like granos, okay. yeah. 
Thank you. You, you hand in grains. All right, so move to room five and move to room five. Yes, everybody has a partner. Here we go. Mario, can you hear me? Only good evening. Uh, good evening. How are you? <laughs> I am very well. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm fine too. I oh, try to good. learn more. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're talking about uh, volunteer or volunteering and volunteer shames. The, the first question is what is spring to, to mind when you hear the word vol volunteer? Yeah. Uh, I, in my mind, when a person say a volunteer, I think uh, it's it's a good person because not not all person have this this um, this feeling to help others. Yeah. Okay, that's good. You are you are idea. And what about you, Berito? I think when I hear the the word volunteer, I think in someone to to try to help um, try to help um, other people who need who need something something and. I think uh, a volunteer not only try to help in a in a material things, uh -huh. but also they can help in other in other kind of situation. Okay, I agree with you uh, when I. The spring when I hear the, the word volunteer volunteer uh, spring to my mind uh, someone that always uh, help 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 them yes. to the other people maybe yeah. uh -huh. in con in inconditionally is is okay inconditionally unconditional okay. unconditional Okay, thank you. Unconditional. Um, next. The next question. Let me see. I'm sorry, but the internet cut problems. Okay. I have a problem in my home. Let me see the next questions. Do you often volunteer to do things? In, 
situation can be. Yes, in that case, you can feel regret. Yeah, and you regret said, I did it. go. <laughs> I'm not going to do again. Uh, uh, what kind of voluntary work would you like to do? Mm -hmm. well, I like to do with children. Yeah. Mm, with when you do when you share some food or some toys, they they feel very happy. <laughs> the children mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's, it's the better option and also i never uh, went to the retired house and, yeah. and one time I, I went with my son in the in the group for the church yeah. at one place that mm -hmm. and was very interesting comprobe scientific scientists oh, and okay. i think but I, I think I got it at the beginning because at the, okay. in January I was on vacation. In, mm -hmm. I was in Boston. And okay. when I came back here uh -huh. around maybe 12, I remember uh -huh. January, uh -huh. and, and I started to work at the office, I, I felt very bad. And okay. I was going to the clinic maybe uh -huh. twice per week. But mm -hmm. the doctor uh, didn't didn't find me. No, didn't didn't find find something. Anything. Uh -huh. Anything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And just uh, she gave me some acetaminophen. Uh -huh. okay. But I, I was very bad. But uh -huh. you we could... don't we, uh -huh. we couldn't hear a lot about the COVID. After uh -huh. uh, maybe one month later. Uh, we start to hear a, a lot of that kind of six. To hear about the COVID nineteen. Yes, see. but uh, I never, I never, I never knew that I had mm. COVID. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I was very bad because I lost the, eh, como the se taste, the taste, the uh -huh. taste. Uh -huh. I lost the taste. Okay. I have a temperature. I have a headache. And I never, I never feel a headache in my life. But that's okay. why I was very... Bad. Probably you got COVID-19. It's mean, probably, yes. Probably you got it. Okay, but uh, how about your family? Didn't they, does anybody got sick? Here in El Salvador, uh, they, they are very well. They never feel uh, okay. any symptoms. But, but they never feel, uh -huh. USA, my... Uh -huh. My my sister got COVID positive, oh. and I know sure is was related with with her, but she okay. got COVID. She was in quarantine, maybe oh, okay. in February at the end of February. Yeah. Oh my goodness! This this has been a long year. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This has been a long year. I see. So in, in my case, the my my co-workers. But I remember when I was in my in my in in, in my uh, in my teens, I I was a volunteer, and I think uh, for me was a a rewarding to help other people, and I think it's not I'm not regretter. It was a pleasure. <laughs> All the time. In my yes. case, I, without pandemic, I always am a volunteer. Okay. That sounds great, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. It's nice. The, the, next, next, the next one is. What kind of voluntary work would you like to do? 
in my case, I would like to do in a, for example, in a hospital, like a Benjamin Bloom. With cues. Yes, because I remember two years ago, I went there, I went there and when I, when you stay there, do you feel, uh, do you feel uh, um, like a, a little sad? Because there are a, a lot of child and it's very sad. So there, so that. Okay, in my case, uh, the kind of voluntary work that I would like to do is with with children because I I am very uh, very sensible or feeling maybe with yes. a, with a child <laughs> with the children. Yes, I I am very sensible too. The poor children, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Jesus? In my case, I try with young and old people, but I think uh, the young people need to We are here again. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Where is everybody else? Uh, some of them are coming in a few seconds. Some rooms, they take longer to come back than, than, than others. Okay, uh, do you have any questions or comments about uh, volunteering? No? So far, so good. All right, good. So we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Tomorrow is our last day. Make sure that you are present. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.